Life Back to Water is led by Global Omnium Medio Ambiente with project partners Biopolis, Life Sequencing and Aguas de Valencia. This project is co-financed by European Union funds through the Life Program 2016, which is a financial instrument supporting environmental, nature conservation and climate action projects throughout the European Union. The total budget for the Back to Water project is 1,141,570 euros, of which 60% of the eligible budget is financed by the LIFE program. The project started at the end of 2017 and is expected to be finished in 30 months. The main objective of LIFE Back to Water is to demonstrate that it is possible to accelerate the recovery of a damaged biological process using biotechnological cultures based on autochthonous cultivable and selective microorganisms to achieve this objective. In addition, the Back to Water project aims to validate a diagnostic kit based on indicator microorganisms, which will be used for the early detection of malfunctions in the biological process. The experimental phase is being carried out in the city of Valencia in a demonstration pilot plant located at the Court Benanguer Wastewater Treatment Plant where the biological process of a conventional wastewater treatment plant is being simulated. This demonstration plant consists of a biological reactor divided into one anoxic and two aerobic chambers, where the denitrification nitrification processes take place. Finally, the separation of the treated effluent from the biological sludge takes place in a secondary clarifier. In wastewater treatment plants, the microorganisms present in the activated sludge reduce the organic content in wastewater, and in some cases, they also remove nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus. This biological process can be damaged when uncontrolled spills, generally of industrial origin, reach the plants. Therefore, the idea of the Bacti Water project came up as a need to find a cost-effective solution capable of accelerating the recovery of this biological process against a spill. The main objective of this project is to enhance this recovery by developing and supplying to the biological reactor an inoculum made of resistant bacteria to toxic substances found in spills. To carry out this study, we are simulating the most common spills detected in wastewater treatment plants, which usually are heavy metals, high organic loads, pesticides and detergents. The experimental part of the Water project takes place in this demo plant. The recovery of the biological process is evaluated with and without the supply of the bacterial inoculum. The spill impact on the activate sludge biomass is monitored through the key parameters of the process before, during and after each spill. These results are supported by respirometry and cell viability tests allowing us to know the nitrification rates and the percentage of viable cells that exit into the biological reactor. The main objective in Bhakti Water projects is to select, introduce a macronism um, able to reduce the environmental impact, failure and a malfunction of biological needs uh, after the unexpected spills. Inocal bacteria uh, was selected uh, after a metagenomic study, uh, focusing on selecting of, uh, specific bacteria uh, with uh, uh, resistance uh, after unexpected spills. Selected bacteria uh, were uh, fermented and add fermenters up to 5 liters uh, with a specific grow con and medium conditions um, of each bacteria. In order to increase uh, identification bacteria growth, uh, some salts and prebiotics addition were considered. The company is mostly based on uh, molecular biology applications for developing uh, new kits for diagnostic, being on clinical, being on water, being on, on environmental sample or even in food technology in order to more or less try to figure out which are the key 
uh, biomarkers that can be uh, corrected or affected into a specific sample. This kit mainly it's done by analyzing the genome of a specific uh, bacteria that or, or fungi or biomarkers that we do know, developing a specific proof that can make the detection of a presence or absence of a specific biomarkers in a sample in order to decide what is going to be the uh, relevant uh, outcome of, of the analysis. This could reduce the impact of, uh, the, uh, of the economical impact of the, of the analysis for the company that is going to be testing. We need fast uh, answer and we need cheap answer. Once the Life Back to Water project has finished, an improvement in the resilience of wastewater treatment plants is expected, increasing the recovery capacity of the biological systems, reducing the energy requirements and consequently the emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The protection of community waters in accordance with the Water Framework Directive can be ensured. In addition, more specific results expected from the project are the elaboration of prevention and correction protocols for the biological treatment failures at wastewater treatment plants, the validation of a diagnostic kit for the early detection of malfunctions in the biological process, the reduction of the energy consumption according to the European objective of a 20% increase in the efficiency of wastewater treatment plants by 2020, the definition of a clear strategy for the exploitation of the results of the project and to facilitate the implementation of back to water to other wastewater treatment plants with spill problems. Initiatives like this promoted by a LIFE program to achieve environmental and climatic objectives will allow us to live on a more sustainable planet where our needs and the needs of future generations will not be compromised.